Assalamu alaikum, my name is Aksa Tariq and I welcome you to another episode of CXO in Focus. Today we are honored to have with us at our web studio TV, Dr. Zakiuddin Ahmed, who is the president of Open Karachi. Can we have a brief introduction about yourself please? Okay, um, I am a medical doctor, mm -hmm. but I don't practice anymore. I went into the space of health management and uh, telemedicine and e-health mm -hmm. immediately after uh, my graduation. And, um, and that's what I've been doing for the last so many years. Mm -hmm. uh, so my main area of uh, interest and expertise is e-health, telemedicine, mm -hmm. m-health, uh, using information technology to deliver healthcare. Right. Let me uh, tell you ladies and gentlemen, he is the president of Healthcare Paradigm and holds leadership position in many companies including e-health services private limited, Smart Healthcare, Medical Voice Health Asia, Farm Evo Limited, and Center for Type Development. In addition, he is also the current president for Open Karachi, which will be our focus of discussion today. Right. Um, so bringing together two disciplines, medicine and business together, uh, because uh, Open focuses on entrepreneurship mm -hmm. opportunities, particularly for Pakistani. Um, how do you see uh, this collaboration working for our local industry? The collaboration of Pakistani entrepreneurs in the US mm -hmm. and uh, the Pakistanis in Pakistan. Uh, I think that, uh, as the name suggests, you know, this is an organization of those Americans who are from Pakistan. Mm -hmm. uh, they live in the U.S., they work there, they've been there for maybe 20, 30 years, but they actually are from Pakistan. And that's what led them to uh, start a chapter in Pakistan where the roots are. Mm -hmm. So what I observed in uh, most of the, the members of OPEN in the US, and they have a membership base of more than 3,000. Mm -hmm. These are the 3,000 plus Pakistani Americans who have uh, been very successful in, uh, uh, as entrepreneurs, as C-level uh, uh, you know, <coughs> managers and um, uh, directors. Uh, but they, most of them have, um, have this desire to pay back to Pakistan. And they have been doing you know, a lot of uh, uh, activities mm -hmm. uh, in terms of, not only in terms of uh, you know, funding or charity, but business as well. Mm -hmm. So, and they want to do more. Uh, so most of these uh, members of OPEN, they wanted to have uh, a formal you know, presence in Pakistan in the form of a chapter, which uh, uh, you know, helped them or, or facilitated their, their business ventures mm -hmm. in, in Pakistan, any kind of collaboration, any kind of funding they want to do, uh, whether it's uh, a, a reactive funding in case of you know, disasters or a more planned you know, funding for mm -hmm. organizations like TCF or any other. So, so they, they really wanted to have their own presence. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and that's why you know, the first chapter outside the US was formed in Karachi. So I would like to mention here that OPEN has been functional since 1998 and yes. has six chapters within uh, the United States. Uh, they have chapters in uh, Boston, mm -hmm. uh, New York, um, Washington, Houston, mm -hmm. uh, Atlanta, Chicago and Silicon Valley. Alright. So with reference to your uh, medical background, how did you uh, prompt to take such a course of bringing medical and uh, medicine and business together? Uh, like I said, you know, uh, Right after I graduated, mm -hmm. uh, things just started happening and uh, I was kind of, uh, you know, I wouldn't say pushed, but I was brought into the mm -hmm. space of uh, thinking how healthcare could be delivered more efficiently mm -hmm. and uh, to everyone in Pakistan. So I was introduced to this concept of telemedicine and we used to call it telemedicine in those days in, and I'm talking about the mid-90s, 1996, 97. So I came across this concept of telemedicine, which was delivery of healthcare. Tele means distance, right? Mm -hmm. So medicine at a distance. Uh, so it actually means a delivery of healthcare using information technology. So I immediately you know, uh, realized uh, that this is the only way we can deliver healthcare mm -hmm. to everyone in Pakistan, whenever and wherever they needed healthcare. So we're not talking about, you know, patients in Karachi only or Lahore. A particular class or yeah. that's... Everyone, you know, the 18, 18 crore people living in Pakistan, you know, 
uh, help. Health being such a basic need. Basic, there's, there's, it's not a privilege, you know, it's a need. And uh, healthcare is not something which you can uh, provide when you are ready. Uh, unfortunately, even, you know, as we speak, mm -hmm. and, uh, pe you know, people are dying. In a country like Pakistan, a developing country, patients are dying not because uh, there's no treatment or not because their, their disease is at a very late stage. A lot of people in Pakistan are dying because they don't have access to healthcare, even the basic healthcare. Mm -hmm. Now, information technology actually helps us to, to do that in a very efficient, cost efficient, cost effective, and an efficient manner. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's uh, what brought me to telemedicine or e-health and, and now m-health mm -hmm. as we are using mobiles in a very uh, effective way mm -hmm. uh, and not only delivering healthcare but acquiring information and uh, it's a we have you know apps as you know um, iPhone has around 16,000 plus apps uh, only in the healthcare space. So when we talk about entrepreneurship, it's usually the undergraduates or uh, student body that's looked at because you know entrepreneurship usually emerges out of you know as soon as you've come out of college, वो उनके ऊपर पहली नजर होती है कि ये हमारे entrepreneurs होंगे because they're young, fresh minds and they have a lot of ideas. Um, how do you see uh, Open as a platform for these students or university uh, or universities in Afghanistan? You also talk about how there are different chapters within Karachi. So can you elaborate on how um, Open uh, Pakistan mein jo chapter inka khada hai, okay. kya aims hai, ya kya goals hai? Our main focus, as you mentioned, is on the youth. Uh, mainly because, you know, Pakistan probably uh, has uh, future prospects if we really work on our, you know, future generation. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can, we can change their mindsets or we can influence their, their mindsets and so open is also actually focused on most of its uh, resources and energy and time and effort will be on the youth so we're not only opening up student chapters in all the major universities but we have linked the mentorship program uh, both physical and um, essentially the uh, online one uh, with the student chapters okay. so inshallah uh, by the end of this year 2012 we'll have at least seven uh, student chapters and each chapter has 30 to 50 members mm -hmm. and uh, we would have mentored uh, those who you know who wish to be mentored through these uh, leaders or entrepreneurs who have been very successful as charter members but we are not limiting ourselves to uh, students who are studying in these universities i think open has a very significant potential role to play in this because open provides a very strong networking opportunity you know the the main events which we have organized yet the, mm -hmm. the two main events so we have been able to get a good network and we've just started and are so, we just talking about expats or are we also talking about no Canada no then? no the open karachi will focus on pakistan mm -hmm. so what we'll do is we'll actually we'll bring a few people from the u.s mm -hmm. but our main focus is to to gather the Pakistani entrepreneurs mm -hmm. on the platform of open and as our you know we want to become the premier uh, entrepreneur uh, entrepreneurship uh, uh, organization or or a group we want to be the leaders in that uh, since there are other groups which are working and which are working very well and so we are supporting them mm -hmm. uh, we are you know we have synergy and we, we leverage on that as well so our meetings are are very powerful you know you'll find hundred plus people who have um, a collective experience of I don't know thousands of years maybe mm -hmm. and that's what we want to offer to the uh, to the younger generation uh, so that we bridge that gap which existed when we were actually you know coming into this mm -hmm. this space mm -hmm. all right so sir uh, before we close the show I'd just like you to give a message to our audience and also maybe share uh, Open Karachi's uh, calendar for this year or your plans or goals? We have uh, a membership program so uh, charter members are by invitation mm -hmm. of course but we have a regular membership we have a student membership the details are available on the website the website is under development but you know the basic information is mm -hmm. still there uh, like I said we are uh, one of our projects is a newsletter uh, which will not only you know, and be a tool to 
to show what we are doing, but of course it, it would have articles and interviews of, of uh, relevant people. Um, student chapters are our major focus, and like I said, we'll have at least seven and more chapters uh, by the end of this year. Uh, we are planning to have a, uh, a flagship uh, event on entrepreneurship in December, uh, and where we will have many entrepreneurs or open members uh, from the U.S. Uh, you know, uh, visiting and, and uh, attending and speaking uh, in this event in December. So that's the major event. Uh, the mentorship program, like I said, is uh, gives you a slightly different, you know, flavor because it's not only one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, but it's uh, virtual as well. So uh, our members will be able to uh, go online and uh, interact with these, uh, you know, leaders in different uh, areas. You know, the the message to the audience is that uh, if if the audience is young, because you know the. The senior audience knows much more, you know, than I, I do. I think the the younger audience uh, should have a purpose in life. I think that's uh, the the strongest uh, thing which we need. Each one of us should know why we are doing what we are doing, why we are here for. Uh, do we have a purpose in life or not? Are we living a purposeless life or a purposeful life? Uh, we can have different purposes, of course, as long as we have one. So I think that's the most important thing, uh, to have a purpose in life. Number two, uh, believe in, of course, believe in yourself and, and Allah. Uh, and have whatever we do, we do it with conviction. And then uh, we, we don't doubt ourselves or you know, the environment or uh, support from Allah SWT. So I think you know, having a purpose, then believing in yourself and of course, you know, we need to work hard, we need to be honest, of course, that, that is there. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we will be closing the show today. We will see you next week with another guest in our studios. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.